The stunning performance of Mauricio Macri, the centre-right mayor of Buenos Aires, in the first round of Argentina's presidential elections on Sunday, took the entire nation by surprise. Many had predicted that the government-backed candidate, Daniel Scioli, would win outright and avoid a runoff vote. But he came nowhere close. Financial markets were euphoric. Pollsters were embarrassed. Even Macri himself confesses that he wasn't expecting to do so well. We were sure that we were going to go for the second round, but the results were amazing, amazing. The government had been very successful to build the idea that they were invincible, no? That they, they, they was destiny, that they were going to rule this country forever, no? And suddenly what happened that Sunday night was that we all found that, that we could, that yes, we can, no? The bruising campaign is now getting underway ahead of the runoff vote next month. Scioli and Macri must fight it out for the votes of some 7 million Argentines who didn't vote for either of them in the first round. But Macri is confident. I, I really believe, we believe that those who didn't vote for the government are looking for a change. So it's our responsibility to be clear with them, to show them that they can rely on us because we want the same change. If Macri wins, he will implement a series of reforms designed to revive Argentina's flagging economy. Priorities for Macri include bringing down what is one of the highest inflation rates in the world, as well as strengthening the rule of law and restoring credibility to Argentina's institutions in order to attract desperately needed investment. He also wants to put an end to a long-running legal dispute with creditors that has blocked Argentina's access to international capital markets. He will lose no time in acting, pledging to remove strict capital controls that have choked the economy on the very first day of his presidency. They won. They won because this is a problem of trust. This government has destroyed the trust among the Argentines before the war because they had, they had been cheating in all the statistics. The Macri victory is far from assured. He is up against the formidable political machine of the Peronist Party, which has controlled the country for most of the last 70 years. Even so, many now think he is the favourite to win. For growing numbers of Argentines, it is time for a change. Benedict Manda, Financial Times, Buenos Aires.